Severe tropical cyclone Alfred is expected to bring coastal hazards to southern Queensland from today. The storm is moving through the Coral Sea and is expected to remain off the coast for now. It briefly intensified to Category 4 overnight but has since weakened to a Category 3 cyclone. Potentially damaging easterly swells are forecast for southern Queensland as well as abnormally high tides. Northern New South Wales could start to feel some impacts through the later part of the weekend. A gale warning is in place for the Great Barrier Reef. Well, for more on this system, let's check in with our meteorologist Marina Newman. Marina, tell us the latest on this tropical cyclone. Well, Rhiannon, the latest that we're seeing with this system is that it has weakened, which is great news. It is still a severe Category 3 storm, but has weakened from that earlier Category 4 storm that we were seeing just a few hours earlier. Now, again, this is still a very intense storm. Looking at Max Wingus, 215 kilometers per hour. Very strong storm, but does not look to make landfall. That's the other good news. This system is going to continue to track to the south and does look to make a turn over the weekend, but it will be weakening when it makes that turn. So set to finally make that turn as a Category 2 storm and move much closer to the Queensland coastline as we head into our Sunday. Now, we'll talk about the impacts from that turn and moving closer to the coastline in just a minute. But first, taking a look at the forecast track, which has changed, and this is the good news. With it making that turn, again, moves closer to the coastline, but then looks to continue its track further to the south and will be moving away from the New South Wales coastline. Ultimately, again, very unlikely that the storm makes landfall. But it is still a very strong storm, and it has been very unpredictable. So we are going to continue to closely monitor that and, of course, keep you updated with any watches, warnings or impacts that we are expecting to go into place. And Marina, as we've been hearing, we are expecting some impacts for parts of Queensland and then later on for New South Wales. Tell us a bit more about what to expect there. Well, what we're going to be seeing across really Queensland is going to be what you're seeing behind me, increased surf and swell. And we actually have a coastal hazards warning that's in place for most of Southeast Queensland coastline. We are going to be seeing wind speed really picking up and we're looking at surf expected to be rough. That's already in place now and will be in place into the weekend. Hazardous surf warning, also looking at the potential for damaging, looking at damaging and abnormally high tides as well as very strong high waves. So this is not the weekend that you want to be out at the beach or swimming, surfing. You need to be very cautious because we are going to be having, again, abnormally high tides and very strong surf. So use caution if you are heading out this weekend. Don't go in the water. And as for the rainfall, that's also going to be moving in. It's not going to be bringing very high rainfall totals, but certainly going to be seeing increased rainfall, especially between Bundaberg and the Sunshine Coast. That will start Sunday and continue into Monday as the system tracks further into the Queensland coastline. We're seeing a few areas in red showing us those high rainfall totals. Going to be very isolated, but could see at least a few areas seeing high rainfall totals where the more widespread rainfall will be rather light, Rhiannon. And what about for New South Wales later in the weekend? We could potentially see some impacts there as well, couldn't we? We are looking at the potential for this system as it tracks south to bring some of those impacts to New South Wales. One of them being we're expecting a coastal hazards warning to go into place. Now that would be at the end of the weekend, but it would start by about Sunday, Monday. So strong surf and abnormally high tides, plus looking at increased rainfall across New South Wales coastline beginning by about Monday. You can see where that moisture is going to be moving on shore, especially for that northeastern corridor between Lismore all the way down to Sydney. We are looking at that moisture moving on shore. And once again, a few isolated areas could see high rainfall totals as the system tracks south, but eventually moves away from the coastline into midweek. All right, Marina, we appreciate the update. Thank you. We'll speak to you again soon.